Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben. Update V31 finally available. If you still did not receive the update automatically, you can do it manually, as I show you in this guide. In the description of the guide, you will find the link to the folder with the files for the update V31 to download and put inside the headset manually. And anyway, you will find all the procedure step by step in the video. Among the new available features, I talked about some of them yesterday in this video, which are nothing else than some little improvements for features that was already available. There is also an improvement for the variable bitrate with the air link to reduce latency. Now it is possible to enter in the home menu, even when the headset is stuck on the black screen with the three little dots. And finally has been resolved the crash with air link. And has been improved the compatibility with some AMD drivers. There are also some improvements on the hardware side. Now you can use a USB Type-C audio headset. You can check the link in this video for the list with the compatible headphones. But if you use both USB Type-C and 3.5 mm jack, it will be used only the 3.5 mm. For now it's not possible to use the microphone from your headphone, because when you use a headphone with microphone, it will be used the microphone from the Quest 2. You will find a Again, the home a bit different. I was just get used <laughs> with the version from the previous update and now with this new one has been changed again. Okay, if you need uh, support for manual installation, let me know down in the comments and remember that you will find the link with the folder for uh, update v31 in the video on how to update manually Oculus Quest 2. If you do not see the link here or here, I don't know, I never remember where, you will find the link to the the guide in the description of this video. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. From Ben it's all, see you to the next one and see ya in VR. Ciao ragazzi.